Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So today's video, I'm going to be doing um, a really different video from like all my other videos. I'm going to be doing like a hair video, which I've never done one because I'm not really like big on hair anymore. <laughs> In sixth grade, I was like really into hair and like around that time, I would do like pretty much a different hairstyle every single day, but now, I am not doing that. I'm a freshman in high school right now, and I just like don't have time in the morning to just do my hair like super intricate braids and stuff like that. So I'm more of like a makeup channel, as you know. Um, so I don't do hair much. Pretty much, I'll just brush my hair, leave it as this, and call it good most of the time. Sometimes I'll straighten my hair, but a lot of times I'm really lazy. So I'll show you some of my like lazy hairstyles if I'm still feeling a little extra because I a lot of times I just won't do my hair. If I'm feeling like doing my hair but not putting like a lot of effort into it, this is what I would do. So let's go ahead and get started. I did want to mention this video is not sponsored at all. Like I will be using all Chi hair products today because she was kind enough to send me these products um, through Octoly, so I'm gonna use them. Everything was sent to me except for this. Um, this um, I bought myself. I do really like it. It's the Chi Iron Guard Thermal Protection Spray, which I'll be using um, before I use like the straightener. Before we actually get into the hairstyles, I did want to mention some hair masks that I really like. Last night, I just used the Chi Argan Oil um, plus Moringa Oil Rejuvenating Mask. So I used this last night and I just washed my hair in the shower as normal, even conditioner and stuff. And then I got out of the shower, I put this just like here and down. Because you don't want to put it like up here or else your hair will like look really greasy. And that is not the look I'm going for. And I put my hair in a braid and then I kind of just like put it in a little bun so it's like off of my clothes. And then I just left it on. Okay, well, it says to leave it on for like three to five minutes or, um, yeah, it says to leave it three, three to five minutes and repeat as desired, but I literally left it in for like an hour, could have been longer, um, because I was painting a pumpkin, so, yeah, and then I just jumped back in the shower and I washed it out and my hair was super soft and then this is what my hair looks like the next day it's super soft um it has like a nice shine to it but it's not like greasy so this is perfect um but i do have three other masks that i need to try out but i haven't yet but they all smell super good so i also have the chi tea tree oil revitalizing mask and this one just smells like tea tree and it smells super good i have the chi olive organics treatment mask for all hair types so this one even though it's olive it does not smell like olive i think this might be my favorite smelling one it just smells super clean and fresh and I love the smell of it because I was worried that it would smell bad because it's like olive but it smells super good then I have the Chi rosehip oil color nurture recovery treatment this one just smells like roses um, my grandma actually used this last night and she loved it because her hair is like color treated and this is what it's good for my hair I've never colored but she has color treated hair and it's like she just needed more like hydration in it and she said she loved this and she's gonna have to get one herself so that's all the masks that there is but um then i got the straightener from it chi and i've used this once and i really really like it so far this is their holiday one you can get it at jc penny's that's where it's like sold it's like a pinky sparkly color it's really pretty they have other types too but this one is so cool and i really like it also another plus about it is that it heats up in only 30 seconds which is really handy if you're like trying to straighten your hair but you just want to straighten it super fast then inside this is the power button and then you can like adjust the temperature it goes up to 410 and the lowest heat is 310 so i like to have it like 390 ish and then that's a good temperature for me I'm just gonna let that heat up. I've already like brushed my hair and stuff too, but we're not just gonna be straightening our hair today. We're gonna be doing like waves because I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to straighten your hair. Um, and if you don't, all you do is literally run the straightener through your hair. So I'd like to section my hair off into two. It just makes this easier to do. It also makes it look better. And it's done heating up. I just like to section my hair and then section it into two. And then I'm just gonna spray this chi 44 iron guard thermal protection spray thermal protection spray in my hair i learned this trick from marla Catherine, so that's like where i got the idea from but pretty much you just take your straightener and you literally just do this like it's so easy 
and it doesn't really take long either yeah it'll pretty much just look like that but it looks a lot better when it's done don't worry <laughs> you literally just do that all the way around your hair and that's it i'm gonna time lapse this because it'll get really repetitive so i will be back Okay, so this is what it looks like once it's all done. You could hairspray it, but I don't have any hairspray with me right now. But I really like how it looks and it kind of just like puts your outfit together more. So you could just leave it like this or you could do other hairstyles, which I'm going to show you like three of them, I guess. Because like I literally can't. I just don't really like doing my hair anymore. But if I don't want my hair down or just like this, um, I'll do like one of these hairstyles the first one i'm going to show you is literally so simple you'll be you'll like wonder why i'm even showing you i'm literally just gonna take my hair and then just like kind of mess with it i'm gonna take my scrunchie and i like using a scrunchie for this i just like the look of it better and i don't make it too tight but and then i'll literally just mess with my hair make it look like not so put together take some pieces out and the pieces are like crimped, so it's cute. And just like make it look not put together. That's literally it. Like I do this hairstyle quite often. Not like necessarily with the crimps, but if I'm just lazy and I don't really want to do my hair, I'll just put my hair back into a scrunchie. And it's just like a low scrunchie. And then it like gets not as tight throughout the day. Um... So yeah, that's literally the hairstyle. Okay, next. Why am I even doing a hairstyle video if you literally know how to do these already? So next hairstyle. Take your scrunchie. I don't know where this one's from, by the way. Um, but it's just a normal scrunchie. And you put your hair in a ponytail. This is actually the most pointless video. All of these are super straightforward, but... And then put your scrunchie in your hair. So then just like mess with it a little bit. Take some pieces out. I know some people don't really like this look, but I personally think it makes the look look nicer. Not nicer, but like better. And you have a nice ponytail, you know? As if you didn't know how to do a ponytail before. And if you do it with a, just a regular hair tie, you can always like take a piece of hair and wrap it around if you're going for a night out or something. And then you have a more put together look, but I just like how it looks with the waves and yeah, it's definitely a hairstyle I wear to school, and yeah, there you have your ponytail. Okay, so I can't really think of another hairstyle, but <laughs> let's see. Oh, you could do a braid. We're gonna do a braid. Um, so you just take your hair, um, and then you do a braid. So I'll turn around, just in case you don't know how to do a braid. Okay, my hair is like kind of short for this because everything is popping out. Then you take your scrunchie, or you, can, you don't have to use a scrunchie, but I like scrunchies. I don't know about this hairstyle with the scrunchie, but I guess it works. And then you, guess what you do? <laughs> Pull some pieces out and then it's less sleek. It just looks better from the front if you don't have all of your hair like sleeked back because that's usually not the look I'm going for. Especially with like the crimps I like when pieces are pulled out. Oh gosh, this one's like really long, but it's okay. And you can hairspray if you want, but again, I don't have hairspray down here right now. And then you have your braid. And you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, Ashlyn, this is the most pointless video ever because you already know how to do a nice braid or a ponytail or a low ponytail it's the thought that counts um and maybe you didn't think of these hairstyles but if that's the case i got you so yeah here you have your braid oh my gosh look how many pieces are popping out because of my hair and if you want to spice that one up more you can like do a french braid or um yeah or you can like still have your part in your hair and just do a french braid down sometimes i might do that um Sometimes I won't. Usually I- Okay, my SD card ran out of storage. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, where was I at? Oh, you can spice it up by doing a French braid. So, the next hairstyle I'm going to show you is two braids. This is the most complicated one out of all of them, probably. But I'm going to split my hair in the middle. You don't have to do the middle if you don't want to. But I'm going to do the middle 
just to spice it up a little, I guess. If it's like PE or something, I'll probably do this or I don't really know. If I like really care that much that um, day, but I'm, mm, I don't have two hair ties, I just realized. I'm really sorry if you don't know how to do like a French braid or a Dutch braid because I'm not good at explaining things, but I can definitely try. So I'm gonna be doing a Dutch braid, which is just like an inside out French braid. That sounds really like complicated, but I promise you it's not. It's literally just a little bit different. So you take your two strands, you take the middle one over the top instead of over the bottom. You take that piece that you just flipped over the top and then you add it to a piece of hair. And then you take your middle piece again and flip it to the top over the other piece. Grab hair to that. Take your middle piece. I already did that and move it to that side. Take your middle piece, move it over your top to the left. Grab more hair. Take your middle piece, move it over the top to the right. Add more hair. And so on and so forth. And you just do that all the way. And so you have no more hair. You could just like take your French braid and just do it like here and then tie it. But I'm not going to do that right now. And this hairstyle, if you're not trying to make it look super sleek, which I'm not, um, this hairstyle can literally take like not long at all. I need two hair ties. Okay, so I don't have like actual hair ties right now, so I'm just gonna use these Invisibobbles. Um, these are just the clear ones, also sent to me through Octilia a while ago. Um, I love using these because I just, I like the look of them and like, I don't know, they keep your hair in really good. I wouldn't use these if I'm doing these two braids, uh, probably. So I'm just gonna tie this again. Okay, so the next step is literally just to like pull it apart more so it's not so sleek like this and I believe you call it pancaking okay and then guess what we're gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna pull parts out and that is the hairstyle this is a little bit bad right here but i literally did this like so fast so yeah that is the end of this video because i kind of ran out of ideas for hairstyles but so if you liked any of these or if you do any of these probably will because they're really basic um then make sure to let me know in the comments thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up let me know if you want any more like hairstyle videos i can definitely try or if you liked this video let me know um anyways thank you guys so much for watching make sure to comment like subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye